In the bustling marketplace of Accra, lived two sisters, Ama and Isi. They were as different as the sun on the moon. Ama, with her fiery spirit and sharp tongue, ran the most vibrant fabric stall, while Isi, quiet and gentle, soothed customers with her calming ways and brewed the sweetest tea in town. One scorching afternoon, a handsome stranger named Kofi wandered into Isi's stall. His smile was as bright as the midday sun, and his eyes held the warmth of the savanna. Isi offered him a cool glass of her famous tea, and they talked for hours about his travels and her dreams of leaving Accra. Meanwhile, Ama, across the bustling market, saw Kofi and felt a jolt. He was the missing piece she'd been searching for, someone with ambition to match her fire. The very next day, she used all her charm to lure him over to her stall, dazzling him with stories of her successful business and future plans. Kofi, charmed by both sisters, spent his days lost in Amr's fiery tales and his evenings finding solace in Isi's gentle words. He felt a connection with each, but a seed of doubt began to sprout. One day, as Isi brewed Kofi his tea, Amr burst in, accusing her sister of stealing Kofi's attention. Their simmering resentment boiled over into a furious fight, shattering the afternoon peace of the marketplace. Kofi, shocked by their animosity, so their love for him wasn't love at all, but a twisted competition. He left heartbroken, the marketplace echoing with the sisters' harsh words. Days turned into weeks, the market quieter without Kofi's laughter. Ama and Isi, consumed by bitterness, blamed each other for his absence. One day, a wise old woman known as Nana visited Isi's stall. She listened patiently as Isi poured out her sorrow. Love shouldn't divide you, child, Nana said gently. Look within, see past your jealousy, is Kofi what your heart truly desires? Isi realized Nana was right. Her love for Kofi was overshadowed by her rivalry with Amar. She sought out her sister, offering not blame, but a cup of tea, the same way she once offered Kofi. As they sipped their tea, Ama, too, had a moment of clarity. Her obsession with Kofi stemmed from her loneliness, not true love. They talked for the first time in years, finally acknowledging their hurt and jealousy. Together, they went to Kofi, not as competitors, but as sisters. They apologized and confessed their genuine feelings for him, but with a twist, they understood if his heart belonged elsewhere. Kofi was touched by their honesty and newfound unity. He saw a strength in their bond he hadn't noticed before. He realized his heart belonged to neither of them, but he admired their courage and newfound connection. Though love didn't bloom between Kofi and the sisters, something much stronger did. Ama and Isi, finally free from their rivalry, found a sisterhood more precious than any man. They continued to run their stalls, their laughter and shared stories filling the marketplace with a newfound warmth, a testament to the enduring power of love, not for a man, but for each other.